Hey everybody, welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today, we are back and we're going to be opening some packs. Uh, 20 of them, trying to get a legendary and seeing if we can build a deck around that legendary. So, let's go ahead and get started. We got 12 of the new expansion, 3 of the old Frozen Throne, which is last expansion, and then 5 classic ones. So, we'll see if we get anything special. If I get like a legendary out of the classic, I will cry because they're basically all useless other than maybe one or two which I probably already have but let's take a look so far we haven't really gotten anything but I am hoping for something out of the strong classes anything basically out of mage warlock rogue or druid anything out of those four are completely fine also, I'm hoping for a legendary that somehow is game changing, so, uh, you know, not like what I've gotten in the past, I think, two episodes, basically. I've gotten nothing very good, but we will see. <clears throat> Most of these cards I basically already have, but a lot of them are still useful for a one of. But yeah, nothing good so far, and it's been 10 packs, but 10 packs isn't too bad. For not oh there's just Rin the first disciple all right we could definitely use that in a, a warlock definitely 100% so we're definitely gonna be build a deck around that now it kind of sucks I would put her in a Q block deck but sadly I do not have the materials to actually build a Q block or I don't have the cards and if I want to build Q block I need to use all my dust plus some and that's all my dust if I want to, you know. So I'm not too fond of dusting everything just to get one deck, which might not be good in a little bit because they might get nerfs or something. So we'll definitely build something around it. Maybe a Kazakis Rin, you know, uh, like a zoo, zoo deck. Maybe like a maybe an aggro warlock, although Rin isn't very aggro. It's actually the exact opposite. It's more of a control uh, control style, trying to stay on board, maybe fatigue, fatigue warlock, uh, okay, so nothing else, nothing else, and I'll make this deal if, if it's a good game, if we can get Rin all the way through completion, we'll open one more pack and try for a legendary, uh, but yeah, real quick, I'm going to be making the deck, which I, I think it's going to be a Kazakis Rin kind of, uh, control fatigue kind of deck so very long lasting sustain so i'll be right back okay guys so let's get into our first game so yeah like i said i built uh, a rin kazakis kind of all around one of deck kind of control like try to get out into fatigue now this hand is pretty good we got flame imp and void walker that's really really good that's going to be a definitely first uh first turn flame imp that puts a good bit of pressure on the board. Now, depending on his play, I either might play Voidwalker to taunt up so he can't kill the Flame Imp, or I might tap. I think I might tap since he didn't play anything. Because, oh, there's Rin. All right, good, 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 good. There's Rin. But, yeah. Let's see what he does next. I think he, he has that two man, three mana spell. Yeah, Drain Life. I forgot about that. Well, that's fine. That's fine. At least he gets rid of it. Uh, I think we're just going to go kind of on curve and try to put this out. Because we're going to need some more card draw. Although I have five in my hand, basically the first... Oh, that's so good. Okay, so this is another legendary that we actually opened a few episodes ago. So, of course, I put this guy in there, Kazakus in there. Let's go ahead and draw a card with our Acolyte. So now our entire deck is going to have plus one, plus one, which is really, really good. That was very sketchy by him. He, uh, I, Honestly, I don't know why people play that card. That card is terrible. But you know what? Hey, you do you. Uh, but I think definitely Cobalt Scalebane is definitely the best option here. And I might just, yeah, end the turn. I'm not going to sacrifice all my minions without even dying. I'm going to wait up for the Cobalt to kind of ramp up a little bit. And then we'll be able to take care of it. Okay, so he, he copied the Scalebane. If he was lucky, it would go... I think that... Actually, I don't know if that's lucky if it goes in his taunt. 
I don't know, either way. I guess it'd be better if it went on that one because it's hidden behind something, but I'm going to take care of that anyway with my Cobalt Scale Bane and Siphon Soul. So let's get rid of the Taunt with Siphon Soul, and since our Acolyte's big, we get to draw a card and take out something big. And I'm just going to trade there. Like I said, this is desk. This desk. Yes, yeah, desk. Now, this deck is kind of long-lasting. There's no reason to, like, uh, smork him. I I'll be able to survive. I have plenty of healing things. And, hmm. We could either play Rin or Hellfire, but Rin has Taunt anyway, and that'll... Uh, that will protect me. Not to mention, for this video... Oh, I forgot to attack. That was a mistake. Well, anyway, Rin... Uh, so, I haven't even explained how she works. Basically, once she gets killed, she adds the first seal to your hand, which summons a 2-2. Two -two. Then it gives you the second seal, the third seal, and the fourth seal, and then I think the final seal. So once you use the, f and by the way, all these are five mana, and each time they ramp up, so two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and then it gives you the final seal, which puts Azari in your hand. Now Azari, I'm pretty sure is a ten mana ten ten, that its card text is destroy your opponent's deck, and that's eh, that's a pretty good Shadow Flame. So basically, if you get that far, you just destroy your opponent's deck. Now it's not a very great card. Uh, simply for the fact, and I'm just going to keep ramping it up here, simply for the fact that basically it takes until very late game to actually destroy your opponent's deck, and by late game, they probably only already have 5 to 10 cards, so it's not very good, and not to mention, you got to remember, you have to play a 5 mana, basically... A five mana Jade Idol for like four turns. While those four turns, of the enemy is going to be keep ramping up, keep ramping up. So it's basically not a very good card. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not unplayable, but it's just mechanic. It just doesn't fit very well because it's supposed to destroy your opponent's deck, which is like a huge deal. But if they only have five left, I mean, it's not going to do much. Now back to the game here. Okay. So, I still have board. He has two pretty big minions, but the fact that he's almost out of cards and I have a full hand, that will let us keep getting our seals. And this turn, we're going to get two seals. So, see, now add a 5-5 five, five and add the final seal to your hand. So, summon a 6-6 six, six demon and add a Zari to your hand. And then, if this guy doesn't concede, we'll be able to actually pull it off. So, Sacred Pact, that's fine, actually. That means he's not giving up on life, and that gives us a turn or two. And let's just say he somehow, like, does something miraculous. I still have, uh, Ghoul Down in my hand, so. So, there's Kazakus. But let's, of course, get a Zari in our hand. Ten, ten mana, ten, ten, destroy your opponent's deck. And I guess we'll just, um, we'll play that. Uh, which could have been a mistake. I'm pretty sure Azari is a demon. If that gets killed and it pulls Azari out, we won't be able to use its uh, battle cry, which that's a huge mistake. But I think he doesn't know this. So I think he's just going to kill the six attack like probably anybody else would. Okay, I might have got away with that right there. But let's play Azari, show you guys kind of what it does. Does this little animation and then kind of like a little fireball, boom, deck is gone. Kind of has the same animation as, uh, what's his name? It's a dude that gets rid of like your entire deck that's not like five up and below. But uh, yeah, I think, guys, he's going to give up here because, oh, he's not going to give up. Twisting Nether, all right, your boy is still kicking. And he pulls out my drags. Have fun getting rid of a 416, my dude. That's just kind of disrespectful at this point. But of course, just to kind of top it off, we will do this. And uh, I think this this definitely deserves an extra card pack at the end here. Definitely deserves one more card pack. And he gave up, guys. So, yeah. I'm just going to start my outro, I guess, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it floats my channel. Let's get one more pack open. Maybe we can get something crazy. That would be amazing. 
Probably not, but let's try anyway. One more pack. Okay, so we did. Uh, I don't know if that's good or not. Maybe we'll play with the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later.